Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to talk about some new Marvel Legends news. Today for Hasbro PulseCon 2022, you, of course, had the Marvel Legends team, Ryan, Dwight, and Dan, taken to their YouTube channel to talk about all the new Marvel Legends reveals. And I gotta say, uh, they did round out the day very well. The rest of PulseCon, minus the panels where they actually showed off toys, which is like the whole thing of why we're watching this transformers power rangers otherwise look i know everyone's trying their, their best and everything but as collectors watching this they're, they're, this is during the day there's no kids watching this um it was incredibly awkward to watch it was a little bit much or even i was like man why it's it's overly talked overly hyped right we get it selfie series i tried it out doesn't really work all too well for me right i'm gonna be completely honest with you the whole starting lineup thing doesn't really work for me a lot very expensive right a lot of things fortnite they had some showings but um yeah it, it was really kind of a toss-up transformers just had a few power Rangers. so for a true hasbro pulse con experience i would say the marvel legends team had the most to show or kind of everyone else and had a few things here and there and then it was card games or video games or comic books and I get it. It's all inclusive, all in one kind of deal, but it's it, it it loses its luster after a while if you catch my drift. But like I said, at least we ended the whole Pulse Con day one on a fairly good note with Marvel Legends. A lot of stuff here to talk about. But of course, I will tell you this: when applicable, depending on what's shown, I'll have all the links down in the description below. You can pre-order some of it. Will be available. Let's say on Amazon, other stores. If they are available, just look down in the description below, and of course, you can grab them. So, we'll kick it off with the first reveal. We are getting a classic Toy Biz retro-inspired Iron Man. This is the Iron Man, the animated series. It comes with extra head portraits, which is awesome, the hands, and of course, this big Ion Blaster. Of course, many of you remember that. Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Very, very cool. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Comes in a big box. You get the figure on a card, and then you get the Pulse Cannon in a separate little box. Which, I gotta tell you, the way that looks, how awesome would that be to have it in a little carded thing right on the toy shelf? There's like 10, 15 of them right there. You just buy one, it's 10 bucks, whatever it is. I would totally love that. Do huge little weapons like that. That That's, come on, that would be so cool to see. And then, of course, you get to see him with the cannon and everything else so if you want them you can go and get them they haven't really talked about price and keep that in mind because as cool as these things are they do add up especially with marvel legend prices these days so pick and choose accordingly and then maybe think well maybe later down the road they might hit clearance something like that just something to think about unfortunately while they were kind of showing off the iron man the whole there was of course this would happen has repulsing just cut the communications cuts and it took them Probably about five or six minutes to uh, come back online. In that time frame, they did show off some new Marvel 375s in the form of Doctor Doom. So you can get a little Marvel 375 Doctor Doom. Or if I could just stress, for a Marvel Legends, and this is Marvel 375, keep that in mind. But for a Ghost Rider, 50th anniversary, right? Look at the packaging on this and then go, hmm, what would we have rather have wanted, right? Look how cool this thing looks. That is Ghost Rider. I want it. I'm getting it. So I'm... This is one of those times where I am all about the animated series. So I'm getting the Iron Man. And I'm going to get this really cool Ghost Rider for my Ghost Rider. Yada, yada. Next, moving on. Now, these are going to be just everyday kind of Marvel Legends. Don't really have a place just yet. They're just, hey, these are uh, coming soon. So look for them 2023 in and around. First up... Ghost Rider villain, classic orb, very cool. But the one thing, because you, you, first of all, you see it, and you go, oh, man, that's the orb. Yes, that looks amazing. And then you go, wait, he's on one of the older bodies. You know what I mean? So it's a whole lot of like, yes. And then you immediately go, wait, I got to take a second and look at it. And you go, yeah, can't fault him. I like the head on it, like the big veins, right, that are all over the eyeball. It is the orb. He's got the gun. They teased the gun at San Diego Comic-Con. He's on an older body that's kind of like, eh. 
Also doesn't really come with a motorcycle. You know what I mean? Like one of those things. Hey, maybe he will. I could take that back. There's just a tease. Maybe he will be coming on a motorcycle. Who knows? Or you have a motorcycle handy. We can always pop him on there. But like I said, at some point, Classic Orb will be a coming 2023 along with the Molecule Man. And this is one of those where I go, nice. That's what I like to see. Something different. More and more of Marvel Legends have kind of, I've, you know, I say shouldn't kind of, I've cut out the MCU stuff. No longer going for that. I'm really going for characters that I don't have or animated series. And there's something coming at the end of this where I'm got a big old smile on my face, right? Very happy to see that. So, again, 2023, Molecule Man, Secret Wars, goes with a lot of stuff. So, super powerful dude. Nice to have this type of new character on our shelves. Switching gears, this is the fourth and final villain of the Walgreens year-long Bring on the Bad Guys wave, right? So... We just kind of ended it with a few other characters, and now the fourth and final figure, which should hit before the end of 2022. Again, no pre-orders for this one today, but uh, Moonstone will be the fourth figure. And like I said, it's it's a lot of reuse. Yes, it's cool to have Moonstone. Yes, they all share the same body. It's it's what Marvel Legends is at this point. Is either you like it or you lump it, and but. For me, it's like, okay, I don't have Moonstone, so yeah, this would be good. But after a while, it's like, ah, there's there's really no accessories. There's no powers. It's becoming more of a chore, unfortunately. And the prices is, is, is taking the fun out of collecting, right? I think we all can agree on that. So that's just kind of where I'm at with Marvel Legends. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm done with them. I'm not going to get them. But... It is nice to say, let's take a step back and go, well, be very selective. And it's nothing against you know, the character selection or anything else. I have more Marvel Legends than any man should have. And at this point, they keep coming and they keep coming. I don't consistently need more of the same characters that I already have. So it's either going to be start getting rid of the old ones, right? Which I don't want to do. Or just kind of go after new stuff that you do enjoy, right? Next up is Warrior Gamora. This is the only figure that they showed from, let's say, MCU slash Disney Plus wave. So again, all of these characters coming, right, 2023 sometime, with the exception of Moonstone, who will be the last of the Walgreens exclusive, and you should see her by the end of 2022. Now, changing gears a little bit, going, well, okay, uh, there's some things where I'm like, yeah, nah. This is right up my alley. So anytime you do X-Men, that's where I go switch gears. I go, eh, 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 bring on bring on the X-Men. That sounds pretty good. First and foremost, on the retro-carded X-Men wave is going to be Wolverine in the blue and yellows. Totally takes you back to Toy Biz days. Looks to be, we'll say, of course, it's the reuse and all that kind of stuff. Utilizing the newer type bodies, maybe kind of, sort of. The head portraits look a little bit better. I've been... Kind of seeing a little bit of change in the recent Wolverines figures, the one with the hot claws and all that. So hopefully they continue that trend because I think out of everything, Marvel Legends Wolverines, they, he was always kind of like an old grainy kind of thing. It, it needed work on the head portrait. So hopefully we will see that going forward. Next up is kind of a shocker because, one, we just had that mojo that's starting to hit Target store shelves. And it's not, it's not exclusive. It's just hitting there first. There's a three-pack that was available as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive with Longshot, the Outback Dazzler, and Mojo. And then you had like that little kind of sort of Scotty Young Wolverine PVC slug figure. Now they're going to do a single release Longshot. So I'm going to tell you honestly, I saw this. I wanted the three-pack for Longshot. But then I thought, no, I'm just going to get the carded. Now I'm going to go get that Mojo. And I'm set. I really am just set. So if you think about it. If you don't want that three pack anymore, you can cancel your order. Or if you like it, get it. It's totally up to you. But for me and how I'm feeling lately towards all these figures, this long shot with the single carded, single boxed mojo, totally cool for me. And they've updated long shot. So this is actually the more corrected long shot. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like no brainer on that sense. Next up is Multiple Man. And this one is in his green attire, right? So that's pretty cool. He does come with extra hands and an extra head portrait. So kind of sort of, again, if you get a couple of these guys, if you're into army building, at least you'll have, if you got two, at least, you know, at the let's say at the very least, or 
you don't really need to get two, but you catch them adrift. You get two, at least you have two different head portraits on each one. It's not going to be the same figure. Carrying over from the, what was it, remember Toys R Us with this two-pack? I do have this figure. This is one of those where I go, well, it looks good. Not really any interest in her. Doesn't have a Build-A-Figure piece, nothing like that. But if you want... And if you missed her, which is great for new collectors, right, or just didn't get a chance to grab her, Dark Phoenix makes a return to the Marvel Legends line. As with a Avalanche, which they kind of sort of had, what was that? Before they really got into Marvel Legends, like X-Men Classics, I forget. But they had a, a very unique look for Avalanche. This is Avalanche to me. With the big dome head, he's got that whole silver body armor, everything else. So he looks good. I'm excited to get Avalanche, right? That's kind of cool. Brotherhood of Mutants, all that jazz. And then to top it off, which is another great choice. Not so much a great choice for those of you that you know have this in your collection, right? And you think, oh, you know, at least I want my collection to be worth something. But Spiral will be making her way back to Marvel Legends. And I got to say... It looks like a great looking figure. Looks to be pretty much the 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 same figure, a little bit updated paint, face, all that jazz, you know, when they re-release figures like this. But again, glad to have Spiral back if you missed her. And one of the weapons I can clearly tell you is uh, Marvel Legends Angela because, uh, yeah, I was just uh, fiddling with that figure the other day on my spawn shelf. So, yeah, it, it's reusing some of the weapons. Just FYI. Moving on to in the future. Right? No real, like, oh, hey, this is when this is coming out, yada, yada. It's just future tense, right? So we're going to be having Yellow and Blue Storm, which looks good. I like that they gave her powers. Mutant powers is always great to have. That's another big bummer, I think, with a lot of these figures nowadays, especially X-Men. There's no powers with them. You get hands. Sure, you get extra heads. That's cool, right? Pick one that you like. But X-Men is all about the powers. And if you don't have those, what fun is that? Come on. Next up is Banshee. Again, very cool. Would be nice to have like a sonic scream. Something like that to go, this is what this character does. You know what I mean? Something cool. Something to attach. That's the fun of action figures. Got some cloth goods with the wings and everything else. So, again, happy to add a blue and yellow Banshee to my collection. And then, of course, if you missed him, the Toys R Us wave, which I totally do not have. That's going to be one for me to pick up. Strife will be making his return. So, all in all, I would say Storm looks great. Maybe kind of sort on her. Yes, she'll, she'll go with the new Wolverine that's in the blue and yellows as well. Banshee looks cool. Strife, you catch my drift. During the Marvel Legends panel, the camera cut out, like I said, they revealed they're going to be doing a Hasbro Pulse exclusive multi-pack that features Daredevil, Bullseye, and of course, Elektra in her white dig. So you can see these right here. So it's a three-pack, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. This, to me, don't need it. Elektra's got some wild hair on her. That's pretty cool. But uh, for me, I have all three of these figures in... Too many, right? Several forms. So this one's a pass for me. However, if it is right up your alley, yeah, you can go ahead and grab it. And then, of course, Ryan Ting interviewed wrestler Johnny Gargano, and he revealed a brand new figure. It will be a Walmart CollectorCon exclusive. Should be around October 6th, in and around that time. So pre-orders will go up, and it is a new Star-Lord, like... Marvel Presents, Marvel Spotlight, Star-Lord. So that's kind of cool. Comes with a sword. Looks looks okay. Again, it's a new head. It's reuse. It's re That's just the thing with Marvel Legends. You're going to think it's the same type of body, new heads, weapons, accessories. Sometimes we'll just see. But like I said, it's nice to see other people, you want to say like a celebrity, revealing Marvel Legends. Hope he doesn't take too much flack for that one, right? Anyways, moving on to the animated series. Now, this is where you kind of pique my interest. I do have the Wolverine. I do have the Jubilee. And I recently just got the Apocalypse. Kind of falling behind on the others. I get them eventually. Anyways. But uh, the final figure for the X-Men VHS for 2022 will be Cyclops. And he's got some cell shading. I know a lot of people don't like that. I myself don't mind it. I like that it fits in. My animated shelf. Everything that I think about with... Marvel consists of the old animated 90s shows, so that's right up my alley. However, I will tell you this, that they did state, yes, this will be the final figure for now. It's not canceled, they're not doing away with it, 
but they're going to move on to something else for the VHS line. And uh, if you've seen my channel before and you knows what I likes, then you knows what's a coming. And I could not have a bigger smile on my face because for 2023, Marvel Legends animated retro VHS tape boxes will be focusing on Spider-Man the Animated Series. They did not show any figures. I think you can kind of put it together if you see the characters. First one up, Spider-Man vs. Carnage will be a two-pack sometime in 2023. They didn't really talk about this too much. I was too busy having my mind being blown. But Spider-Man symbiote costume, you could imagine. A lot of blues, possibly just a redeco, re-release. You know what I'm saying? From the prior released Spider-Man. Maybe they'll go pinless, who knows? And then maybe they'll do something different with Carnage. Maybe they'll do more animated stuff too. That would be cool. That would be my high hopes is that they go a lot more into the animated line and give us actual animated looks for these characters. Fingers crossed. Just saying. But, again, out of everything, out of everything shown, this is what I want for 2023. I love the Iron Man animated series. That's another one. That Ghost Rider Marvel 375. Awesome. This one will be mine. And then whatever else they do for the animated series. And that's where I'm at with Marvel Legends. So that wraps it up for the Marvel Legends panel for Hasbro PulseCon 2022. They do have day two tomorrow. So if you're interested in watching or you can just check out my Instagram because I will do it for you. And I'll just post all the highlights and where you can get them and yada yada. Try to make it easy. And I appreciate everyone who tunes in and watches and goes on my Instagram. That's that's awesome, right? So that's going to wrap it up for my look at all the brand new figures for Marvel Legends today. And as always, you heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, there's a lot of Marvel Legends figures coming out. The prices keep going up, up and up. Pick and choose. Stay within your means. Don't run up credit card bills. Don't do any of that. Maybe just wait. And maybe you'll get them for a good deal eventually. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.